Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to run a gel. Before you run your gel, make sure you have your gel ready, your gel apparatus ready, and your samples ready. To assemble the gel, first of all, we'll take the plate from the jaw casting apparatus. We'll take out the plate like that. And remember there's a, a tall plate and a short plate. Make sure the short plate is always facing the inside. So we just have to slide in like that. And if we are running two jaws, uh, you take the second glass plate and then you put it there. Uh, since we are going to run only one jaw today, uh, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use a, a dummy plate. Uh, if you pay close attention to that, you can also see uh, kind of like a tall plate and a short plate on this dummy plate. Therefore, we'll flip it over and we'll slide it in like that. Once you have the two plates secured, you put it into Casting, well, the cassette here, and make sure you push it down while you lock it in place, and then the gel is assembled. After you have assembled the center piece, you'll need to put it into the tank. It just sits in like that. Uh, right now, if you look closely, you can see that this is the inner chamber uh, here and there is the outer chamber. What you have to do right now is to fill the inner chamber up with buffer. So we'll fill the inner chamber all the way to the top with buffer. After you fill the chamber with buffer, uh, it is now easier to take out the cone because the cone is now lubricated. So make sure you take the cone out carefully because you don't want to break the well. To load a sample, insert the tip very close to the bottom of the well and then expel your sample. Again, you insert your tip to the bottom of the well and then you just push out your sample like that. and then you just keep on loading it till every well is filled. There you go, all the samples are loaded. After you loaded all the samples, make sure you top off the buffer that's in the inner chamber. And then you want to pour buffer into the outer chamber just enough to submerge the bottom of the gel. Then we can get started on running the gel. After you pour in the buffer, it's time to hook up the tank to the, the power supply. As you can see right here, it has a red electro and a black electro. So you put on the lid like that, black to black, red to red, and then you hook up the power supply the same way. Okay, red to red, black to black. And then we set the voltage at 180. And then we run it for approximately an hour. That's how you run a job. See you guys next time.